Hey, welcome back to Base Squared. In part two, quadratic applications, where we're dealing with um, borders with uniform width. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch that. Right, it's coming up. So an artist paints a picture on a canvas of area 204, uh, sorry, 2,040 square meters. He would like to showcase the painting in a local art gallery exhibition. The gallery organizers have a space of 74 centimeters by 48 centimeters and require that the painting have a border of equal width on all four sides using this space, so the existing space. Does the artist's painting fit in the space? And if so, what is the width around the border? So let's first draw this. Let's assume that this is the space that the art gallery have to offer and this is the painting, the artist's painting. Now we know that the artist's painting has an area of 2,040 centimeters squared and the area available to him is 74 centimeters by 48 centimeters. So remember that the art gallery require that there's an equal width around each of the four sides of the, of the painting, yeah? So this must be X and that must be represented by X as well. So in order to get the length of the painting, we know that essentially we're taking away this value of x and another value x of here. So we've got 74 minus 2x. Just pause right there so you understand that. And then the width is the same idea. If In order to work out this part, we're going to do 48 minus x and minus x. So 48 minus 2x. Now just like part 1, if you haven't seen part 1, I'll, I'll link it in the cards above. We know the area is length times width, so we have an area of 2040, and our length is 74 minus 2x, and the width is 48 minus 2x. So we're going to multiply these out. So step number one, we're going to expand the brackets. 74 times 48 is 3552. 74 times minus 2x is minus 148x. Minus 2x times 48 is minus 96x. And finally, minus 2x times by minus 2x is positive 4x squared. So if we just clean this up then, that becomes 1,512, which equals to, if you add those two together, collect like terms, you get minus 244x, and that leaves us with 4x squared. Now if I can write this as ax squared plus bx plus c, I get 4x squared minus 244x plus 1,512 equals 0. What I notice here is that there's a common factor, common factor of 4. So you can remove the common factor of 4. That leaves us with x squared minus 61x plus 378, which equals a 0. So let's solve this by factorizing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the product sum. So the product, again, is a times c and the sum's going to be b. So again, I'm just going to write that here so you understand what that is. So it's a x squared plus bx plus c. So a x squared plus bx plus c. Remember, a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant. In which case, 1 times 378 is plus 378, and my coefficient of x is minus 61. So essentially, I need two factors of 378 to add to give us negative 61 and that multiply to give us 378. So you can pause the video and try to guess what they are. It's negative 7 times negative 54, which gives us 378. And then negative 7 plus negative 54, which gives us negative 61. So my two factors, negative 7 and negative 54. Now I can use these two to write this quadratic in factor form. 7 minus x must equal to 0, therefore x equals 7, or <clears throat> x minus 54 equals to 0, which means x is equal to 54. Now if I bring back the, the diagram, um, remember we had a length of 74 centimeters and a width of 48 centimeters. This was the area that the gallery exhibition offered us. So clearly this solution 54 
doesn't work because we can't have 48 minus 54 minus 54. It'll give us a negative value. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't even work here anyway because 74 minus x minus x, it just wouldn't work. It's too big of a value. The only solution that does work is x equals 7. So therefore, we can make a statement. The artist's painting does fit the space. The width of the border is 7 centimeters. Again, feel free to rewind the video and pause it where you must. Um, if you haven't watched part one, go and watch that, and I'll see you in the next one.